Hi, Virgo. This is Jeffrey. This is Bright Color. And this is the reading for the week of August 14th through, no, yes, through the 21st. I was said through the 24th. I don't know why. Well, I'm having a sale on readings this month. Um, the information is below 20% off. And, um, I have to say, you know, I have Virgo rising, as a lot of you know, and I'm very Virgo y. I really am. Like, I like to really have everything in order. I like to, I like to eat a lot. <laughs> I like to grow plants. Um, and, you know, Mexico is a Virgo. And there's a lot of like crazy, crazy bureaucracy that's dealing with here. You have no idea. But, <clears throat> I feel like I'm home. I feel like I'm home here. I really do. I really do. There's this energy of being connected to the earth here that is um, it's just part of the culture that they realize it. So, you know, Mexico City, it's like, I mean, even though it's a big city and there's a lot of traffic, a lot of pollution, blah, 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 it's really green. It's really green. And it, it helps me. It calms me. It, uh, I don't know. It brings in a new energy. It nurtures me. It nurtures me. That's what it is. So I think your little message is, and maybe I've said this before. I, you know, I never know how to say it to me, but, um, you know, nurture yourself. Nurture yourself, whether that means eating really good food, having flowers in the house, growing plants, um, you know, things that bring you a sense of calm, a sense of um, fertility, some, a sense of acceptance. And, you know, look, uh, you know, all those things that I said are really good examples, but, you know, maybe the thing that nurtures you is uh, something other, you know, and you'll know what it is and, you know, do it. You know, it's really important. It's really important anyway for all of us, right? Because, you know, the world is so warm and there's so much going on on the outside. And, you know, I, this in a way has been my underlying message really for years is that, you know, the, the sense of stability and sense of calm and the sense of um, hope really relies on ourselves because, you know, things change so quickly in the world. Like the weather is weird, governments are weird, money is weird, it's all weird. Um, so... The thing that has really taken me through this enormous transition is really having a sense of, of my own uh, soul. All right. Okay, this is, um, it's not very virgo <laughs> because Virgo is very practical, right? And I, 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 that's what, you know, one of the best things about it, that's like deeply practical. Um, in a way, I don't know, I don't want to like this other science, but in a way, I feel like it's the most practical of science because it, it's grounded in the earth and it's ruled by Mercury. So it's, you know, it uses its mind to ground itself, right? Or you. I get the queen of timing, like the time is now, right? Move forward. And then I get the ten of swords, which is like the end of a way of thinking. It's done. And then I get the seven of cups. And so to me, the seven of cups, you know, a lot of people read it as illusion, delusion, in and that. And on occasion, I read it like that. But most times, I don't. I feel like there, there's a way of thinking that you're ready or willing or has just ended. It's not even like you're, it's just, it's done. 
It's not like, well, I want it to be done. It's going to be done. I feel like it's just done, right? And because of that, through that, because all of a sudden it just doesn't work anymore. It's almost like having a, an appliance in the house and it's kind of been on the blink for a long time. And then it's like, now it just doesn't work at all. It just doesn't work at all. And it's like, you know, it, it's kind of like not been working for months. I don't really use it. Now it's like, I could either use a new tool or just forget about it or, right? And it's like, well, what is it that I, what dream is it that I want to bring in? Now that that's done, now that that way of thinking is done, it's like, well, what, what dream, fantasy, desire do I have that I can pluck out of the ether that will, you know, satisfy me? Oh, what has it done? Because I've been working so hard. I feel like you've been working hard at something and, um, It's almost like something that's been just this burden of trying to keep alive, like maybe a thought pattern of you know thinking in a certain way, and all of a sudden you realize it's done, and you can just drop the burden and like be a little freer because it was chaotic, and it wasn't. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting like there's this energy of chaos and selfishness like that was around you. And, and you're sort of like, uh, you know, like I want to bring this in. I want to bring this in, the sense of community, the sense of persevering, the sense of balance, the sense of uh, I'm receiving, I'm giving and I'm receiving, you know, like really being in the middle of that as opposed to yeah, yeah, a beautiful healing coming through, a beautiful healing, and it can happen in a moment. It's almost like, it's, it's almost like you had this job or something, and uh, it was just like a lot, like a lot to keep afloat. It's almost like your Sisyphus. You know the myth of Sisyphus? So the myth of Sisyphus is that he gets to, I don't know who cursed him, but he rolls this ball up a hill and it just keeps on rolling down the hill and the hill and it just keeps on rolling. And it's like this endless cycle, this endless cycle of getting nowhere fast, right? And I feel like that is done. And it's almost like you're pulled out of that, I don't know, scenario, that fable that and it's like you dropped into somewhere new that is kind of beyond your wildest dreams and it's and you can build something out of it. it's kind of wild it's kind of wild yeah that is nurturing and fertile and loving and kind and stable and uh practical because the other thing it was almost like you were trying to make something work that just was never going to work or um uh, you know sometimes we you know have our sights on something and it's like i keep on trying to make it work i keep on trying to make it work i keep on trying to make it work and sometimes and it's like even though your ego is involved and even though duh, 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 you know, you just keep on coming up against the brick wall and then you realize like a month or two later or a year or two later, it's like, oh, what a blessing that didn't work. Because there's so much more for me. In a way, so for me, I mean, at this moment is what I'm like feeling. You know, for the past few, couple of years, I struggled so hard in New York like to have enough to, it was just struggle, 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 struggle. It was like a never ending struggle. Like no matter how far I got, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be far enough. But like I, I could never, not never, but most of the time I really felt overwhelmed, overworked, over, um, I don't know, 
put upon that guy. And then, you know, it all kind of ended. And then I'm here, and I don't know, the opportunities are different. The opportunities are different. And uh, I mean, at this point in my life, I'm ready to not struggle. I'm ready to not struggle. And I feel like it's a little bit of that. It's like, you know, it's almost like you didn't realize how much effort and energy you were putting into something. And I feel like it's it's just, it doesn't work anymore. And it's like, now you have all this like free time or the ability to dream, and to be healed and to like, be more you know, practical, more nurturing. Yeah, because this is where it was. It was in this place of, should I stay? Should I go? I'm overwhelmed. I'm surrounded. And you get the king too. So we get the king and the queen. So the king and the queen together, like have this deep knowledge of how to be stable, how to be secure, how to make money how to um, use it wisely, how to invest, how to, and it's also investment is not necessarily, oh, I'm going to go buy stock. An investment is sometimes it's an investment in one's own soul, one's own health, one's own um, stability, you know, what emotionally, um, you know, it feels like there was a burden that you were carrying that oh, I didn't, does it feel like it was your burden? feels like you were trying to keep something afloat, trying to like, you know, I don't know. And uh, it's like, just done. You know it's done. And now you're offered these opportunities, like almost out of nowhere. That's the way it feels, like an opportunity out of nowhere to be more stable, to be more uh, in community, to be more healed, to be more whole, to be more. And it's like, oh, okay, great. Yeah, and you know, it's confidence. So it's like, yeah, is it gonna, you know, just appear? You know what it feels like? It feels like, okay, it's like something or someone died in a way. And it's like, uh, before you go on to your next slide, it's like you have to almost have a funeral. It's almost like you have to have a funeral. Like, you got to go to the funeral, you got to bury the body, and then, you know, go meet somebody with, you know, something with everybody else, and then make a decision. It's almost a little bit like that. It's like, I, I think it's fun to have a funeral. I know it sounds weird. Yeah, because the healing is coming, because the balance is coming. Wow. 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 It's just really... There's this real sense for me in this reading of it's almost like you were in a bad marriage. It's almost like being that you were in a bad marriage and you were so used to it and you were so responsible. And now like, suddenly they died. And so it's, I, I it's like suddenly they die and it's like, oh my God. God, what a relief. What a relief. Now I can have my own life. Now I can get on with the things that I want to get on with. That's what it feels. That's what it feels. It was like you didn't even know what a burden it was until it wasn't there. Anymore. Yeah, and I, it's like you didn't even know. It's like, oh. <sighs> That's what it feels. Oh. And I feel like it's through that, like this enormous healing and a new life begins. Full of opportunity, full of joy, full of optimism, full of who knows. Wow. Wow. Profound healing. Profound, profound healing. Oh, incredible. Wow.
this is this is, I just it just feels really um I don't even know how to describe it. Beautiful. You know, it's almost like you're walking in the jungle. No, I need my metaphors. I watch a lot of nature documentaries. You're walking in the jungle. And, you know, you think that this is what, you know, you're looking for a certain animal, or you're looking for some ancient city or whatever. I watch a lot of Maya stuff. And then you come upon this, you know, beautiful waterfall with this incredible lake, you know, like you see, like a bull lagoon or something. And it's like you get to like go in and nourish yourself and be healed by it. That's what it feels like. And it's like, it wasn't even what I was looking for. It wasn't even what I was looking for. And it's it's almost more beautiful than you can. It's, it's a wonder. Wow. wow. Look, with my Virgo rising, I hope that, you know, who knows? Ah. All right. It's like that. It's like, it's like that. So, like, let it in. Because the old way is good. <laughs> Done. Yeah, they, you can't even revive it. Right. Blessings. <laughs>